So I've been building a web app. First, I should give you some backstory. It's been well documented that the college application process is incredibly stressful with the national average of student to counselor ratio being 491 to one. This leaves students without the proper guidance in the process and left to figure out things on their own. This can be especially hard for low income or first generation students who can't rely on their parents or guardians for help. The challenge as a high school student in the process is to be well informed, prepared, focused, and organized throughout the multi-step college search and admissions process. And on top of that, usually students are applying to as many as six to 10 schools at one time. Keeping track of everything and organizing next steps for each college on your list can easily become overwhelming. And that's where Frosh Labs comes in. Frosh Labs aims to be the college application command center for the millions of high school students thinking about or planning on applying to college. It's the ultimate web app to help students effectively navigate a very complicated and stressful process. So I will now take you into what I've been building. So this is the landing page for Frostbite. Everything has now been hooked up. So the next thing that you see is the playbooks progress card. And this is to remind students how much progress they have made if they haven't finished it then they'll get a notification here to say that they still have some stuff to complete and then they can click this continue learning button to take them to the playbooks page right under that we have the applying list so this is where you'll see colleges that a student adds to their applying list and then the percentage of tasks complete that they've done and they can get more info on the college by clicking the more info button or they can go to the actual college manager by clicking manage and then selecting their college and then the final section this is to track the pro the their applying list progress so the number of reach match and safety schools that they have on their list and then here is just their favorite same thing you can click each of these buttons and then it'll take you to more information about the school you can remove the school from your list and then you can add it to you're applying. Let's go through each of these features pretty quickly. Each of these playbooks go through different steps of the college planning process. So this one is getting ready for college and it'll just take you through information about this particular playbook and the step. So this step is doing what it takes to get in and it kind of goes over grades and extracurriculars, summer activities, timelines, things like that. And whenever you're done with a playbook, you can mark it as complete. And then if you go back up, it'll say marked as complete. You can do this for each of the playbooks and some sections have interactive things so that you can kind of think deeper about the section and what it's asking you. I can mark this as complete and I can also mark a section as incomplete. All of these as complete, we click done with this playbook, we get some confetti. And then if we go back to the playbooks page, we can see now that our playbook has been complete. And now under my stuff, we have the groups page and this will list all of the groups that a user is a part of. If they want to create a group, it's as simple as just giving it a name and then it'll create the group. Here we can invite some friends. So I'll enter an email, send the invite, a new member has been added and we can also see them here. And each group has two sections. So the main, one of the main section is the picnic chat. And here students can be able to talk to anybody in the group um, about whatever. And we have on the side, uh, these things called park chat, which is similar to a Slack channel. And so anyone in the group can join the Slack channel or the park site and have a discussion. And there's also a space for one-on-one -on -one direct messages. And then the group also has a basket, add a task, colleges, or scholarship. And these are called group suggestions. And so whenever a student in a group wants to add a task, all they have to do is add one here. And then everybody in the group would be able to see the task, the college, or the, or the scholarship, whatever suggestion that somebody added to the group. And if you added your, if you've added a suggestion to the group and you want to take it away, you can click on the delete button. For the colleges page, it's basically an organizer. And whenever you add a new college, to your applying list it'll show here so if we go to Harvey Mudd we can see that we have a personal fit section task section notes and files here this section is where a student can rate the different features of the college after they've done some research there's also the application task session section which as soon as you add a college to your applying list all of these tasks are added to the organizer by default. So let's say we wanted to say that we've already gave our teachers the form for a recommendation. We can click this 
task updated and then we can see that this is now checked off and then the percent of task complete is updated and then their favorites list if they click on favorites we can then see all of our faves so next going to the task page this is just general tasks that should be completed during the school year for students and if a student doesn't know what they should be doing yet they can click on this button to go to the task suggestions and then have a breakdown of tasks by year and they can just add this task to their list and so if I were to refresh the page I now see that I have a task on my list I can check it off say that it's done or I can delete it to deadlines this is where the calendar is so a student can be able to update and add new deadlines to their calendar scholarship page all you have to do is create a new scholarship and it also has a, a little notification to say hey if you want to go to the playbooks page you can do that and get more information on scholarships and then Adding a scholarship is as easy as filling out a form and then it'll add it to your list. Notes page is just is self-explanatory. Students are able to add markdown notes. So things I like in a school, um, let's say sports, STEM, etc. So if we submit this, we can now see that that note shows up in markdown format and then we can edit it or delete it. Locker is just a page where a student can be able to keep track of their academic and extracurricular achievements. And then the college search, and we can sort them by a bunch of different factors. So if I wanted to sort by admissions rate, et cetera, et cetera, um, we could do that. And then on this side, we can also filter our results. So let's say we only want four-year schools that are in New England. And if we apply those filters, we'll then get that and then this is again sorted by low to high ACT school score so if you wanted to sort by high to low or anything else if we also wanted to search it for a specific school we could do that you can just type the name in click search and now we get schools that match this search filter. And for all of the schools, you have the option of getting more info about the college, which will take you to the information page. You can go to the actual college's website. You could add it to your applying list, but since California Institute of Technology is already on my client list, I can't do that. You can add it to your favorites list. Let's add Franklin Engineering to our applying list. And that'll take a second because it has to load all the tasks. And then we'll add University of Chicago to our favorites. And now if we go back, we can now see Franklin Engineering as our, in our applying section. And then in our favorites, we can see U of Chicago. And then if we go here to Franklin, you can see all the application tasks were added. So that is Frostbite. Pretty happy with how it's come out so far. Gotten some great feedback about how it works. But if you have any other feedback or things that I should implement, things I should take into consideration, I really would appreciate any feedback or criticism or whatever you have or critiques or just general suggestions. I welcome all of it. And yeah, thank you for watching.